Well, unless you had Luke Metcalf, and God, I love watching him play. This is a pretty bad game fantasy-wise for us. Started off with, you know, obviously a couple of tries here from Barnett to get 84. So a massive game from him and, and pretty much just no negatives apart from the one, which is very, very cool. Obviously a big game from Johnson as well, mainly with just his goal kicking. Yeah, plenty of tackles. He had one offload, a couple of tackle breaks there, run meters over 100 there, and uh, 430 kick meters. So a lot across the board without any attacking stats, which is great and exactly what we needed out of SJ. There was uh, some good news, obviously, during the week that uh, he was going to be playing. And if we if we miss that 67, that would have been pretty sad, especially if he didn't have the trade to cover it. But, uh, yeah, that's SJ on that front. I had six players in this game, and only three of them did well. Uh, and the other three, of course, were the pods. And it uh, wasn't great, but uh, we had a little bit of good news in the second game, thankfully, there. Marcelo Montoya, a couple of tries there. They look great on that left-hand side. Metcalf and Ford were terrific together. Obviously, Metcalf did a little bit himself as well. Ran 54 meters and still got two tries, um, a couple of line breaks and a try assist there. So awesome stuff for him. And uh, yeah, I think the Warriors as well. Like he's going to, he should keep his spot for sure. He just brings that spark and we've been speaking about him for a while and, and he's finally come on and, and got his chance. And yeah, a few times for the Sharkies, he wasn't able to get his chance and then he had injuries and stuff. So good to see that happen eventually there. Tohu Harris had a lower leg uh, injury with his ankle turning out, which uh, wasn't great, but uh, he ended up coming back for the last five minutes. So you'd imagine he'll be fine going forward into next week. They do have a buy in a few weeks. So yeah, again, they can use that week to, to kind of rest things. Um, imagine what his off season is going to be like, just literally doing nothing. Hey, just rehab, 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 do nothing, rehab um, to get yourself ready for the next year. He's, he's an incredible man. A uh, line break assist, try assist there, a line break as well off the back of Wade Egan, which was good, but three tackle breaks, 170 meters run. He actually ran the ball plenty in this game. It wasn't just that line break. That was only about 30 meters or so, 25 to 30. Um, so that was good. Dejan Asi there, if you uh, got onto him a while ago, he has made a decent amount of cash. Just to be a little bit extra from there. He'd be up to about 40, 50, which is fine, but he scored well. He's averaged at 48 uh, for you, which is good. So a little bit less than uh, than what Cogger's been able to do, but still great nonetheless. Hop good. Big, big points there, 58 and he's 65 minutes. So really, 65 minutes, 60 minutes, somewhere there is what you're hoping to expect longer term. He is great. Uh, he's obviously one of their top dogs now, which is good, and he should be. He really should be. So 58 for him was awesome. Jackson Ford with 57. He has looked so much better the last few weeks and not missing the amount of tackles that he was. That uh, left-hand side defensively, since they've been playing well, is obviously helping them, um, in a, in helping them defensively as well. To not miss as many, and 203 run meters was great. So you had that big line break early on in the game, a few tackle breaks, which was good. Uh, Madison, I absolutely hate him as a 5'8", or a back rower on, on Penasini's side. He, he, when he does decide to pass it to him, it's behind him. Like we said last time, this was happened, that the Penasini wasn't going to play well when, with no Moses there, because he just gets terrible ball, and then he doesn't get it for the most part. Um, and defensively, that side is pretty bad as well without without a few of their guys in place. You know, Moses obviously there as well. So, yeah, they were tough down that left-hand side, left -hand side. Metcalf just pulled him apart, and Penasini was not great. But, yeah, Maddo, 54 for him you take if you own him. Obviously, turnover tackle there, the offload, or a couple offloads there, three tackle breaks, did his job for sure. And you'll take that going forward. He'll still lose a bit of cash, and he's definitely someone to look at if you don't have a hell of a lot of Eels players. He's definitely one to, to pop in your sights. Adam Fenor Blake, the 49, so 60 minutes for him. He'll go down a little bit and it becomes a little bit more interesting. Although, just watching him, he did look a little bit better in the second half, but that first half, he's just not getting involved as much, I don't think, uh, on the attack side. Maybe teams are just defending him a little bit better and throwing more bodies at him, but he's not getting the, the tackle breaks, the offloads, the, the tries, the line breaks that he was earlier in the year. So, not super ideal for Adam Fenor Blake there. Nice try for Walker there. Simmonson, 43, he just continues to do his work. Eight tackle breaks and a try. Um, did it all himself there. Just literally burnt SJ very, very easily there. But uh, obviously a big win for the Warriors after that. Cartwright, 38. Lane, 42. So welcome back to Sean. A nice PPM there, which was good. Brennan Hands, 34. This was looking bad. This was looking real bad. He's only 16. Um, yeah, with like 10 minutes to go in the half. In the first half, you're like, oh, this is great. We're going to be flying. And then... He ended up getting down to six by halftime. They end up, thankfully, take, during the game, taking two missed tackles away from him. I was blown up. I was looking at um, Supercoach or you know, Fox Sports, the way they do their stats, and he had three missed tackles, and then on fantasy, he had eight. And most of them are one that ones where they hit him to the ground and, and the other guys finish him off. That is not a missed tackle. Or the ones where they hit, and then he just leaves it to his other two guys, and they, and they were giving them missed tackles. It just ugh, kills me. 
But uh, thankfully, a turnover, well, turnover tackle was early on, but he ended up going for 41 tackles in the end. I think at one point he had 17 tackles, eight misses so at halftime. So that was not nice. But 34, we'll take it. That's some price rises. Surely has better games than that because that wasn't good. Six, six missed tackles early. Offer went off with a knee injury. Sounds like MCL. Let's hope it's MCL, not ACL. For Offer, uh, Junior there, not his best game. 53 minutes, 32 points. Chansey, 27. Very sad on that front. As we said there, three of my guys scored very, very low, and he was the second of the three. And 27, when your team puts on, puts on 40-odd, SJ and Chans, both not getting any try assists or tries, very, very sad. So did his normal running, but yeah, just all in base in, in this one, unfortunately. Three tackle breaks only. Uh, and that was that. So yeah, not much else to say. Pretty sad for Chansey. Two light ones in a row. And I definitely think he, he is someone. It's either him or Buller. You have to sell one of them, I believe. I've got Teddy as well, uh, along with yeah, a couple of the other guns in Ponga and stuff. So not 100% needed, but we'll work that out when we come to it. And going down from there, it's just Panasini really is 16. He had four missed tackles, three errors. Did improve things a bit in the second half. He was at negative two at halftime. So 18 point in second half was not terrible. Similar to that of Brendan Hands, that's for sure. So yeah, not great game. If you had Metcalf or something, awesome work. He's made you so much cash and done a great job. I think he keeps his spot now. So you really can't drop him from that, can you? So let's move to the second game. And Bunny's up against the Dogs. It was a point scoring bonanza this whole weekend has been. And let's start with my man, Blake Taff. He wasn't looking good at all in that first half. Again, as always, sitting in that sort of pretty low score. And then just absolutely bursted. He got an extra, he got a line break early in the sec, in the second half. And then picked up a couple of tries along the way. I didn't end up watching the last 30 minutes because I was just over it after the game before. After this one, I was just seeing Matt Burton and Blake Wilson go nuts and Freddie one who grabbed Blakey at the cheap price. I don't think many did. Reed Marnie scored a try. It was just, it was too much going on. And uh, Munro had scored. I hadn't had him yet, but um, yeah, it was just, all, it was all happening for sure. Um, and yeah, so I, I, maybe I shouldn't watch footy anymore because the last few times I've done that, my players have gone absolutely bonkers. And uh, yeah, watching it back, it was a, a nice sight to see him going through the line there, absolutely dominating. So yeah, tough there, three line breaks. Two tries there, five tackle breaks. They had seven, and they took off a couple, but that's all right. Eight tackles for no misses as well. So 65 for him. Gives him a big price rise, and I'll thank him for his services, and we'll move him on. And, and it shows that all the cheap guys this week have actually done really well, surprisingly. So good stuff for Blakey. Burton there with 71, so welcome back to him after his really, really low game. But that was to be expected in this type of game. They did look much better, um, especially with Toby there as well. So Burton and Tobes. Blake Wilson, the 69, was great on that front as well. And then Reed Marnie, the 59. So good stuff from those guys. Silva Havili, a, a nice score from him after you know, a few low ones to kick things off for the year. Talis Duncan, a terrific try at the end there. Wasn't enough, unfortunately, for him, but yeah, a good try there. Taff almost could have got another one if um if Duncan wasn't there. All right, Munro, the 50. That was a massive one for anyone who brought him in. There was a lot. I think it was a couple hundred. So three line breaks and two tries. He's a very, very special talent. Um, and I think he keeps his spot, so... Yeah, good stuff. You got the 29 with the try in the first game. You're like, ooh, is he going to be that type of scorer? But yeah, this was a game for him to do really well. I'm not sure if it'll happen long term, obviously, when they're playing better teams than the Dogs. But uh, yeah, great. Nonetheless, in this one, Carraz with 47, 48 for Sexton. Did the bulk of the kick meters, 208. It wasn't a lot. Burton didn't have a lot himself. Ran the ball plenty. A couple of line breaks for him. So yeah, definitely got involved. And he'll, yeah, he'll be some type of asset at some point, you know, for fantasy anyway. Ilias, 46. Uh, Quay Ward, 46 for him. A try and a try assist. Good stuff on that front. Preston, 44. Yeah, it wasn't his type of game. Just too many points scored in this one, and he wasn't able to get involved on the attacking side of the ball, which was that. But look, there's so many points. So many players, 40 plus. It's like, what, 15? 40 plus. Totola just going about his business as always. Avrilo was 30-odd pretty early. and ended up 38. So if you grabbed him, you picked up two tries. This 204 run meters was good. Ockenbo off the bench seems to score way better, surprisingly. He scores more points off the bench than he does playing in uh, full, you know, full minutes off in, in the starting side. So he was much better on that front. Ben Love at 32 in his full 80 minutes. So he was okay. Didn't look like a world beater at all, but you know, got about his work. I suppose he was like fifth in line or something for second row this week. And then they um, end up moving Liam Knight and playing Tane Milne in there as well. So that was interesting. Johnson with 12 for those that own him. Very unfortunate after he's been hitting 40s pretty regularly. So, yeah, due to have a low game, especially with his all his guns out, that's for sure. 
And that is all. Tony Milne finished off. Skelton looked pretty good with a couple of his runs as well. And Richie Kennel 21. So he ended up playing there on that one. So I hope you enjoyed that. those two games. We've got one more to go, guys, and we'll see you in that review.